Hello, and welcome to the Loose Butthole Reviews. Today we are reviewing Batman the Animated Series Season 1. Hello. Alright, and just gonna get this out there. I'm not ready for my number rating like I was trying to say. Mm Mm-hmm. Yes, before we were interrupted by a dog. Yes, (laughs) uh, but it just, I have to be 100% honest. If this mm-hmm. came out, this series, that this series came out. Today, you mean? Yeah, yeah. But, so if this this if this series came out today, because I think for its time, it was a very groundbreaking series. Yes, yes. For, I, for the time, thank you for taking over for a second. Mm-hmm. For the time... That this came out, this was a groundbreaking series. But if I was going to review this as it was coming out today, it would almost like some of the episodes would have saved it from a Jeff Goldblum, but it's it's almost there just for the simple fact the censors really did not do the the first season justice whatsoever for the first half. Mm. Literally, it was it was basically the last ten episodes that kind of got better and kind of mm-hmm. saved the series for me because it's like, like oh, finally the fucking censors have finally yeah, let up on get, these guys. They're, they're getting more popularity. They're get starting to get more pull because they had a rough start uh, financially. I I can see why, uh, but the the censors don't understand that it was the censors' fault financially why mm. it definitely... I think I think financially season uh season two and uh partially season three is gonna be like it's prime and then uh then it gets the budget cut at four. But yeah if reviewing the season one by itself is, is completely unfair. It it's just not something that that I'm willing to do with this series because it does deserve a lot more praise than then I'm generally oh, getting dumb. it. I I'm just... always dumb. I, I think there's only two. There's only three seasons. I always think there's a fourth. Yeah. Uh, I mean, be, I mean, season three. <laughs> season yeah, three gotcha. gets the budget cut. It's season two that's its prime. But it's <laughs> it's definitely a series. Like I said, that that it deserves its praise. But I just don't have the nostalgia for it that most mm-hmm. people have. I did this watch. Is... I did mm-hmm. watch some yeah. of its episodes on reruns and shit like that but it Mm -hmm. just it was never a series as a kid that caught my eye because again dc superheroes fucking Mm -hmm. suck that that's (laughs) that's just on dc in general like their their superheroes are are just not good i yeah this is Mm -hmm. great batman but Batman's not the best superhero. Let's just get that out there. Let's let's. I'm putting that on that mm-hmm. out on the table now. Batman is by far not my favorite superhero. He, and to be honest, he has he's the oversaturated. Most, he has some of the most potential. Yeah, he's oversaturated, but he has the most potential, and it's never really explored. Like that. That's generally the main problem with him. Is just, it's be- there's so it's much better fucking Batman. In, it's better explored in parody, really. Yeah, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, that that is true. But to be honest, there, there's so much Batman. They they literally could make a whole Batman company, basically, like that. Make that solely focuses yeah. on Batman and makes Batman movies and merchandise and shit. Like it, mm-hmm. it, it, it completely could become its own thing. And that's yeah. because there's so much of fucking Batman. It's got. <laughs> It's DC is unfortunately Batman, and that they shouldn't be Batman, and that, and that's that's basically why I'm not loving this series. It's because I'm just not a DC superhero fan. I love the villains. I don't get mm-hmm. me wrong; their villains are phenomenal. Which is what was, which is well, what what will make season two better? Because I did take a peek and then remembered, like, oh shit. This is actually where there's a lot of like villain focused episodes was, too. This would be a three, to be honest. If I was gonna mm-hmm. give it a number rating, it would be a three. 
Uh, I definitely have nostalgia glasses. Yeah, and uh, oh, this is my Power Rangers. I mean, oh yeah, well, <laughs> that's what I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> it's I, hard for me to say because I, I and I, and, and, I'll give and, and, it a yeah. lot of slack because of what I know of the meta of what is going on in the background, and I, I I'm fascinated with just like the production of this series. The, the, and, like, okay, yeah, exactly. I'm I'm the that's the, I'm the same with, way with Power Rangers. We we'll probably never review. I'm just putting this out there now. We'll probably I, never review Power Rangers because. I, mm -hmm. I mean, we can. If you want, they're available I, we would on YouTube. Have to be, we'd have to be, we'd have to be in in person. Yeah, and it would have to, dude. I'm telling you, I'm a Power Rangers fan. Really I'm we'd have Power to just sprinkle an episode into everything. We'd just be like, even if it was like a cartoon block, we just no, and a dude, Power Rangers episode. I, you would hate <laughs> me to do this, but we would have to powerhouse the first 160. Ep we would have to powerhouse. <laughs> you do not know how grueling it is to. Cause I I tried to do just like five episodes a day, and I'm just like, God, I just have to keep going because I I just want to get through this because it <laughs> it doesn't get good until Zio. It it literally does Mighty Morphin Power. I do not know how that. I do not know how Mighty Morphin Power Rangers made right, we'll, three seasons. We'll see. We'll see when the time comes. Because <laughs> it it gets so much better in Zio. And then Turbo kind of gets kind of shaky, but that's due to the Super Sentai that they had to adapt, and not the the writers and directors' fault. They they were working with a, a really spoofy Super Sentai at the time. So, and but mm -hmm. we're we're getting into something completely different than fucking Batman. Yeah, yeah. but Batman. But yeah, I and what I <laughs> and going back, I mean, yeah, I can see what you mean with the. Just, like I, I kind of forgot like how almost distracting like at the first part of the seasons, like honestly the first third of the season, like it was just like they were just almost, I could tell that they weren't allowed to have guns and they were pushing it just with what they had. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Every time that there was a gun, they they had to put someone's mm -hmm. face on it, or they had to sh make it shoot darts or something. Like they, mm -hmm. it couldn't be like shooting bullets. And then the last ten episodes, we get like full on action, Tommy gun action. It's like yeah. <laughs> a, a completely different shift, and it's like, yeah, this would be great if we saw this earlier. Like, <laughs> yeah, and there's a lot of great episodes. I mean, but again, it's uh, it's you know, it's the villains, it's a mixed bag. It's the villains it, that make it. it. It's a mixed bag. The the mafia episodes fucking suck. I say skip all those episodes, except the ones with the Harvey Dent to get that storyline going. Mm. But I think there's than... a couple, couple of good ones. I just didn't think there needed to be as many. Yeah, that. Uh, like I said, the ones with Harvey Dent were good, but mm -hmm. everything else seemed so unnecessary. Mm -hmm. I don't hate Rupert Thorne. I, I like, but I always like it better if there's another villain with Rupert Thorne. Usually, like. Especially when he's sort of like the third, like, not even like an ally, but like there's usually kind of like a three-way war going, you know. I know that he's a, a actual, like, comic book original character. It just, mm. they opened up, they literally open up the season with Catwoman and Man Bat. And then we have to deal with Mafia for like 30-something episodes. Mm. Of course, yeah. we get we get villains sprinkled throughout that, but it just doesn't. Mm -hmm. The pacing's way off there. It's just like real. It's one episode we're dealing with a wacky penguin-shaped villain, and the next we're doing a mm -hmm. really serious mafia piece. It's like, can you just pace it better? Could could you not air this differently? Because. As far as we're, we know, this is semi the correct airing order. Mm. And I just feel if if I watched this growing up, and this was the I, I would be pissed. Like every week would just infuriate <laughs> me, and be like, "The fuck's going on, dude?" Like last week we were dealing with the Joker, and now this week we got Rupert Thorne. Like the fuck like where what mm -hmm. happened to the joker like the 
what I I know that he Warwood. got arrested. <laughs> I we mm. haven't we're not, I don't even think we're ever gonna see Wormwood ever again, dude. And I want nope. another Wormwood we'll episode. Wormwood. <laughs> he was the, he was better. He was better than the fucking Riddler. That's what I want to point out. He was a better. He should be the Riddler too. <laughs> he should be his own little thing. He doesn't need a, a gimmick name. Just call him Wormwood. That's a good fucking the name as it master. is. <laughs> or the Trap Wormwood. Master. But Wormwood is pretty good. <laughs> but yeah. It's not much I can talk about this season, to be honest. But we, we had to do this. We we started this re- these reviews and we got to finish them. <laughs> what do you want? Yeah, do, you, do you got more? Because that, that's pretty much all I got to say, really. Is the eh, censors I... really fucked this show up, man. That that's evidently clear. Like the show had so much potential. I still find the charm in the show. I still have. I still find the show. Well, yeah, you you have nostalgia goggles. <laughs> I still think there's a lot of great elements of the show. Groundbreaking show. Uh, I I think for the for the budget it had, like the animations, just super unique. Like it it stylized even like cutting corners too. You know. Oh, I love the animation. That's that's not where nothing about the actual show itself is really a negative. It is just all the bullshit surrounding the show and what they had to deal with to, to produce the show mm-hmm. forced it to be a inferior product than what it could be, and and that infuriates me because I see the potential. I see. I I, I see it. But it's not there. It's never gonna be there, and that that's just infuriating because th- it's I like think, just a little few more I tweaks. Think it's, I think it's perfect for for what you know what uh, a lot of what Batman was, and and I I kind of I do want to go back for a second to the uh, the mafia stuff just because uh, it makes sense because uh, Paul Dini was a huge fan of like the the early like even the fifties Batman stuff, which. Uh, that's a lot of what Batman did, you know. Well, yeah, like, I, I just was, the pacing. You know, they they should have had all the mafia, like most of the Batman movies do. They have the mafia stuff, and then first, they yeah. have the wacky shit come later because Batman first has to come in and try to clean the streets, and he has to incite the villains to become wacky. It's not they are always there, just hiding in the shadows. Waiting for yeah, there's fucking... not really an overarching storyline going. Yeah, you know, it's sort of just like it it's very really... episodic. It... It, but it's yeah, not yeah. episodic at the same time. That that's the problem. They try to it's make like it episodic, canon. but it's not episodic because yeah. everything's canon, but they yeah. don't want it to be. It's it... like it's casually canon. Which <laughs> it, that that it. I prefer either make it an anthology series or make it a serialized series. Don't the, the episodic can loose can it cuz then you're you're constantly having to debate whether if the what episodes are important, what episodes aren't, you know, and then you got to get a, into the watching order pre- and and I would prefer yeah. to just be able to watch the TV show and understand what's going on and just not this yeah. hodgepodge of jumping around to different stories every week. It, it's because like the, it was still coming out of that time. It was still that, that transition of like uh, of a lot of cartoons of just kind of like not trusting children to actually follow what's going on, you know? So it's just like, they just kind of like, well, the story's kind of there, but it's like it, if, it's also just for kind of like little ADD kids just like watch it and not really know what's going on. They just like yeah, watch me. We, we do know, have to address it. This did the Batman come throwing batterings. This did come out in a time where you couldn't watch all 60 episodes at once. Yeah. The, this came out yeah, at a time where you were fed, mm-hmm. drip fed one episode a week. But here's the thing. Yeah. You know what would mm-hmm. really piss me off? If I'm told, right, major Batman fan, let, let's just do a hypothetical. I'm a major Batman fan. 
read all the I, comics. Mm-hmm. I read all the comics. I, I have all the, the action figures that I can find. I go to Comic-Con dressed like Robin. I, I'm just a huge Batman fan. I fucking hear about the animated series coming out. The first fucking week, Catwoman episode. Fuck yeah, that's great. But guess what happens the next fucking week? Do I get my second parter to my cat episode, Catwoman episode? Do I spooge? Yeah, but that's the fault. Of, that wasn't actually the fault of. That is full. That that is the see. That is the bullshit. That is the bullshit that we have to deal with. That just mars this fucking TV series. This beautiful TV series down is that bullshit right there. It's like yeah. I I would be checked out. That that would be it. Because I, I mm. did have to experience TV shows like that, and I would mm. be pissed off if a TV show did pull that shit. Like, the fuck? Where's my second parter, dude? Like, that'd be like if Power Rangers played uh the Green with the, the e- Green with Evil ep- five parter, played the f- first four parters, and then randomly played the fifth parter like three or four episodes later, and before that we had episodes with the green ranger being good and shit it's like the fuck happened it's like it's mm-hmm. just it's no <laughs> <laughs> like no yeah. that's it it's it's an infuriating that this series could have been so great but it was just marred down by hollywood bullshit mm-hmm. it, it's a series that I know it probably wouldn't have been made in this time period, especially with the animation style, but I kind of wish that it waited until the 2000s or the early earlier 2000s or maybe even the 2010s. Because mm-hmm. this this epi- this series was that it's a TV show that's way before its time way before its mm. time and it shows because the censors weren't ready for it. Yeah. I can't cut it. Gotcha. You. you you got anything? Uh no, I think we could we could probably end it there. You sure? Cuz I I've been rambling this whole time and you haven't said shit basically. Uh, oh, uh I guess we'll just have to wait till season 2. Uh, I guess uh, 4.5. <laughs> oh, well, we're not giving a number rating this go around, but all right. Uh, if you've been listening this if you've been listening this long, thank you so much. Please like or comment this like on the video and share it around. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and go check out some more of our content. We have let's plays, we have more loose butthole reviews and we have some podcasts to go listen to. Do you have a sign off to give Spooge? Uh, I'm a Batman person. Can you repeat that? There you go. <laughs> he's, a, he's your favorite Batman person. All right. And this will be a bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>